So we wanted to find out the awareness of uh, the gender rule in the four counties. And we find in Kisumu, 70% of people are aware, while um, Kiambu is 50%, Nairobi and Mombasa are at high at 46%. When the same same people, those who are not aware, were being explained for what the, the rule means, actually the ratings in Kisumu went high to 84%. Mombasa 81, Kiambu 80, and Nairobi 79. So we also wanted to find up um, the awareness in terms of gender. You can see generally more male than female are aware about the two-third gender, gender bill. But then if you look at the slide on the, at the charts on, on the right, more female are supporting the, the bill more than male. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't go further to find out the, the nitty-gritties about the support and areas of interest. Women rep are selective positions. We wanted to find out the awareness of the women reps in, in the counties and how people think they perform. So if you can see, the chart has different girls. Um, blue represents those who know their women rep. Mm -hmm. Yellow, who feels the women rep adds value. Red, who understand the mandate. And green, those who approve um, the position. As you can see, Kisumu ratings are, are, are quite high in all the attributes, uh, followed by Nairobi that's dropping and Mombasa, that's a bit low. So more people in um, Kisumu know their women rep, and still more people approve the position of the women rep. If we look at uh, Nairobi, 79% uh, know their women rep, but then if you look at the mandate and people who feel the position is adding value, the number drops significantly, so is in Mombasa. Um, so the, the question is, um, are we clear with the mandate of the women rep? Who's supposed to communicate the mandate of the women rep for people, and what projects is the women rep supposed to be running for people to understand what they do?